we need to take personal responsibility for our salvation. And the old God and the old form of religion probably isn't good enough for that because it's too much about the institution. And God's up there or out there, whereas the God we want now is the God who lives with us you know, on this earth, with us, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. Um, that's the kind of God we need. And it's the kind of God that is not going to allow us the easy option of simply confessing our sins and then going back to being the bastards we were, you know, before we went into confession. Um, I think we've got to live our lives as if we, you know, our values are actually in the forefront of everything we do in every day of the week and not just uh, being holy on Sundays. To me, that's, uh, that's the big shift that's happening in Australia today. It's not that uh, the old religion's going down, but there's a new sort of spiritual consciousness coming up, actually, where people are realising it's important on a day-to-day -day basis to bring their spiritual values to the fore and not simply to relegate them to a, you know, a particular um, uh, holy hour and a half on the weekend. Reg, who you knew, was devoutly religious mm. about creativity. What mm. do you think is the role of creativity and artists in this future? I, um, yes, I, I did know Reg, and, and uh, a little bit, and uh, yes, he, he had this deep feeling about creativity being religious, and I think it is. I think that um, in being creative, we are being like the Creator. And I think that the best compliment we can make to God or to Spirit or the dreaming, as Aboriginal people call it, or whatever we want to call it, is to live creatively and to be creative in our lives. That, that in a sense, tells our Creator that uh, we respect the creation and that as part of the creation, we're willing to give back by being creative ourselves. So I think creativity is one of the best forms of, and most genuine forms of religiousness. And I think a lot of artists in Australia and a lot of actors and uh, a lot of people in the, in the creativity area are actually deeply religious, not in a churchy way and not necessarily in a way that uh, mainstream religions would recognise, but in the deeper sense of having a reverence for life and a sense of awe and wonder for the ordinariness of, of, of our lives and our ability to create. And that, that I think, gives many people a reason for being. There's a, there's a divide in Australia between low culture and high culture, unfortunately. If you talk about Australian heroes to most people, they're thinking sporting heroes, maybe the odd politician who um, still is regarded heroically, but a lot of politicians get uh, sort of uh, levelled rather quickly in their career. Um, sporting heroes are very important in Australia because Australia is a, um, a very ambitious, heroic country and they see the sporting hero, quite rightly, as somebody who's able to really, you know, run with that heroic image and, and achieve it. And, we really do uh, you know, punch above our weight in the sports arena. What's needed more in Australia is more, more heroes at the level of the arts. Um, uh, a lot of Australians aren't even aware of major Australian artists. Um, why that's the case, I'm not sure. Uh, if you talk about uh, you know, people like Arthur Boyd, Sidney Nolan, Patrick White, um, uh, you know, Les Murray, all these great artists. You say Les Murray and people think you mean the guy that um, uh, commentates on the soccer on television. They don't think of the, the other Les Murray who's the world famous poet who lives in New South Wales. Um, so I think we are sports mad. And being sports mad, it's very hard for the arts to get a purchase on popular Australian consciousness. Um, I think, I don't know what it is, if the arts aren't taught properly in schools or perhaps not taught with the correct amount of enthusiasm or passion, but for some reason, a lot of people don't, they, they live outside of high culture. They think high culture is about people who are educated and people who are 
a bit different or a bit eccentric and the, these people don't impinge on their lives. So we've got to somehow make more of an attempt to bring high culture to the people. And I think profiling artists is one way of doing that. And, so, and showing people that the work that artists are doing is relevant to their lives. It's relevant to how they experience nature, how they experience their own emotions, how they experience relationships. It's all about relevance. If we can make art relevant, then it will become more popular and then the artists will be seen as cultural heroes. But until that time, people dismiss the arts as, uh, as being outside their area of concern and that they really are mainly interested in the sports.